Hello everyone, welcome to Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today it is a concept or set of concepts taken from uh, Pathfinder which are uh, very important and uh, uh, very important from the point of uh, view of J-Advanced. So I'll discuss uh, this concept as well as I'll give the problems uh, which are motivated or exactly the same problem from Pathfinder. Uh, so here uh, there is a case study you can say uh, we are releasing a uh, conducting disk in uniform magnetic field in uniform gravity. So these are the three orientations which I have drawn uh, for this uh, uh, disk. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a 3D view you can see and magnetic field is uh, passing through that width. Or in the side view, I'll show you that uh, the side profile of the disk is visible to you, which is thickness of X0 and radius of R0. And mm, magnetic field is along this, so I have shown it outside. Similarly here, if I, if I see it from this side front view, then magnetic field will come in this direction and uh, uh, the radius R0. I hope uh, this entire part is visible to you. Easily you can uh, see this part. Alright, so now once we release this uh, disk in uniform magnetic field you can see how many things are uh, uh, going to take place and all within the je advanced uh, concepts so one by one we can uh, start so concept one here you can uh, see this concept one so when we release this disk then you will see due to gravity some velocity will come into the disk and due to which the electrons inside the free electrons inside the disk will experience a magnetic force you can say q into v cross b and due to which uh, drifting of electrons will take place which is hall's effect we can uh, call it or you can uh, we study about this in motional induced emf all right so something similar to that will take place uh, where we have derived this result E induced is equal to BVL. So what we do is uh, we check that on each electron Q into V cross B that magnetic force is acting and due to which electrons will start uh, drifting. Electrons will start drifting and then uh, induced charges will start developing on the disc because overall disc is neutral. Overall this disc is uh, neutral here you can see. And uh, the, the best part is once these charges are separating like this, you know, it will create an electric field from positive charge to negative charge and this behaves like a capacitor. This behaves like a capacitor here. Alright, so I'll, let me explain this uh, part very quickly to you. So in the side view, you can see here, uh, elect, uh, let's say anywhere these electrons are uh, present so downward velocity due to gravity it has come magnetic field is this side so v cross b but on the negative charge you will find this f magnetic is uh, outside here whereas in this diagram when we see when in this diagram when we see magnetic field is outside velocity is downward so f magnetic on the electron is this side so these negative charges are separating here and corresponding positive charges are coming here because overall disk is uh, neutral but these are dynamic uh, uh, charges that means their values are changing so I'm calling this as a Q induced and uh, uh, at any given time T and here uh, positive to negative there is a electric field developed all right in Hall's effect normally this electric field gets uh, balanced uh, against that magnetic force so anyways here uh, you can see in equilibrium but uh, in this case equilibrium may or may not come because we don't know the velocity profile exactly however uh, these are like very standard formula is equal to bv bvl it becomes right now the concept two is due to these induced charges disk is behaving like a capacitor so i can say this q induced is c times e induced that e induced is bvl or you can say e induced is uh, electric field into that width of the disk here i have shown you this so charge on the capacitor or induced charges which are developing here due to uh, movement of electron which will come as a c e x naught where c is the capacitance so it is like a parallel plate capacitor so c is a epsilon naught by x naught area will become pi r naught uh, square epsilon naught by x naught so we know the value of c i'm substituting here E value is BV at that given instant and this is X0. Now uh, 
uh, if this uh, charge is changing so i can write the corresponding current which is flowing uh, here you can see more and more positive charge will develop this side and more and more negative charge is developing this side so direction of current is in this side so this i induced current i which is dq by dt is this way and i can find out this uh, current value by differentiating q induced uh, expression so which is pi epsilon naught br square dv by dt all right so if they ask uh, current we can calculate current if they ask charge develop on the disk we can calculate from here all right let's try to calculate this velocity as well as uh, acceleration part uh, in this case because exactly same problem is present in the pathfinder and they are asking the acceleration part so we will solve that as well so now what happens in this current of i is uh, flowing so this current it is like a current carrying uh, wire so i del cross b this force is coming upwards gravity force is uh, downward so you can say the net force on the disk is less than uh, g net force is less than mg or acceleration of the disk falling disk is less than uh, g so here you can say now net force is this or f equal to ma we can apply so mg minus this uh, ideal cross b kind of force and uh, mass into acceleration if you substitute this uh, i value here and luckily this dv by dt and dv by dt will be uh, these terms we can combine together and acceleration equal to dv by dt value we can find out so this is the acceleration and luckily it is coming as a constant luckily it is coming as a constant i think uh, now you have understood there are multiple uh, small small concepts involved in this so this is the exact problem from uh, pathfinder uh, which i have uh, solved here and uh, i have discussed the involved uh, concepts in this a good problem within j domain if all concepts are uh, under that only so uh, very high probability such kind of question sometimes in comprehension or in objective integer anywhere may come exactly on the same concept this is present now additional force of kx is present here so whatever we have done in this one more force of kx will come in vector form uh, minus kx you can say it will it will come along with this and that is how you will find time period of oscillation acceleration will come proportional to x plus some constant term so i think it is uh, extremely easy for you now so give it a try and uh, let me know in the comment section if you are able to solve this question after uh, this discussion it will give you good uh, you know boost i'll say and yes you can join uh, an sp crash course it has been launched and uh, uh, you can find all the information in the previous video or in the uh, nsp website so i hope guys you have uh, liked this problem i'll uh, create more videos as i have discussed in the telegram uh, till j advance so this was the agas or the start of uh, our j advance 2025 journey